Hi, this is Professor Arsenal. Uh, this is a quick video to show you how to load um, a file that you have created using um, get your PyCharm on your local laptop, on your Mac, up to uh, gl.umbc.edu so it can be um, graded. There are a number of ways to do this in Mac. Uh, if you do this in Windows, I have a separate video posted on using WinSCP. So if you're using Windows, look for the SCP video. Uh, this is for Mac. There are a number of ways to do it, but um, one I happen to like is called CyberDuck. And CyberDuck can be obtained for free at cyberduck.io. You can either, uh, the site right here, cyberduck.io, you can either uh, download it directly from this site, or you can, if you prefer, go to Apple and get it from the Mac store. Regardless, once you uh, have downloaded it and installed it, and by the way, they will nag you for uh, payment. You do not have to pay them, um, but they will nag you for that. Uh, it is free, though. You will see something that looks like this. This is CyberDuck when it opens, and the first thing you need to do is... Um, open a connection to gl.umbc.edu. So we come up to the top menu bar up here where it says CyberDuck file, edit, view, etc. We're going to open a new connection. So you select open connection. Uh, the server you want is the one you expect, gl.umbc.edu. You enter your username, Arsenal. Uh, you enter your same password. Now, up here, it gives you a choice of different protocols. I believe it defaults to FTP. You want to use SFTP, so make sure you've selected SFTP, SSH File Transfer Protocol. Uh, we log on using SSH, so we're going to use uh, File Transfer using SSH. And now we'll come down here and we connect, click Connect. Um, you're going to be asked if you really want to connect to GL. You can allow this. Uh, if you have Duo installed for multi-factor authentication, you will be asked for uh, another way to log in. You know, again, just so in case somebody gets my password, they can't log in as me. So I'm going to say, send me a passcode. This is the standard Duo uh, situation. And so hopefully in a second, I'll have the new Duo passcode. Here we go. 1777589. Continue. Okay, as always, it failed. Let's see. And my passcode. There we go. Work this time. Now, what you see is what's in your home directory on GL. You are actually seeing on your screen right now uh, the home directory that you have created. So what you need to do is double click into your CMSC directory, the one that you created, and you'll see that it has the homeworks and labs directories that you should have created. So let's presume that this is a homework you are uploading. You simply double click and you can see that, for example, I just have an h0.py file that I created yesterday. Now, what we're going to say, and if I can clear the screen a little bit to, to make it less confusing, uh, I'll get this out of the way and get this out of the way. And now I have a finder window. Now on finder, on my Mac, I can see that I have a file I've created called letters.py. It's simply a Python file that I created using PyCharm and I saved it. If you want to see what it looks like, I'll double click it and the Mac will pop it up. And you can see it's just a Python file. Okay, it's a Python program I created a while ago that actually solves the, the New York Times game spelling bee. We'll talk about it later this semester, but it's any Python file. All I have to do now is I can copy or I can drag and drop, your choice. Uh, I'm gonna say copy, Command C. Now I come into this window, paste, Command V, and there you go. Your file is now on gl.umbc. You can go ahead and submit it and you're done. 
And that is all it takes. If you wanted to drag and drop it instead of Command-C, Command-V, uh, we'll pick another file like this. Just drag it up here. That works too, as you've seen. Uh, so that's it. CyberDuck, you create your files. You do all your programming on PyCharm on your local Mac. You copy the file up to GL, and now you can follow the instructions that we give you for submitting on GL. So I will stop recording. Thank you.